Hey, this is Sasha and today I want to share with you how to edit your YouTube videos incredibly quickly or speed up the process with this one little quick tip. Um, and I find usually this helps out, especially when you're running through a lot of footage, especially if you're creating video courses, online courses, if you need to do the editing yourself or just quickly run through things. Um, one of the ways to do that is to speed up the viewing process and just getting familiar with your shortcuts and keyboard shortcuts. So here I want to run through a few little quick footages and just show you how I normally do this as far as editing the footage much, much faster than I typically uh, would or normally could if I did it at regular speed. So here we have a basic timeline in Premiere Pro. And normally as I zoom into this timeline and then as I look into it, you'll already see some of the peaks for the audio. And uh, when you see those peaks of the audio, obviously those will be trim points. Now, some of the things are often rephrased a second time, a third time, or potentially because if you even look at the footage, uh, I had to do some variations or changes in the software, which then I'm able to cut or trim out. So you can see here in this video where I'm going from this one scene, and then I have to change it right here and adjust it in my software. And then I go back and I make other changes and edits again. So that was a little bit of a lag time. Now, of course, I could have stopped the recording right there and then again started it back up or paused it. Uh, but typically, I don't like to do that. I like to have one large file uh, to make sure that my process is streamlined. That when I have one file, that's that one video and everything is in that one or two files, depending on how many sources I'm recording from. So to speed up this process, normally, you know, when you're looking through footage and as you hit shift right here, uh, now you're playing the footage. Now, I already know nothing important is going to come here. So I hit C on my keyboard and that'll allow me to bring up the uh, uh, cut tool. So I'll do some cuts already really quickly right there. And that'll just allow me to hit the V tool, which goes back to the arrow or selection tool. Hey, this is tool. Sasha. And, and today I, I want to share go with ahead and delete some of those areas. Now, once I start talking to this green screen effect and how right there, you'll see and you'll hear that it's just a normal how to do it in audio OBS studio. Okay, so that right hey, there, that right there is me watching my own footage at regular this speed. Sasha. Now, one of the great things about Premiere that I like is if you go ahead and hit Shift L, you can speed up the process and notice how much quicker. Hey, this is Sasha, and today I want to share with you this green screen effect and how to do it in OBS Studio. Hey, this is Sasha, and today I want to share with you how to create a green screen effect in OBS. So notice how much quicker that flows and runs. Now, of course, you could speed it up or slow it down. So I'm basically going to be using Control. Um, I'm going to hit uh, Spacebar to be able to play the video. Then I hit uh, Shift L a couple of times to speed it up so it's incremental. So I can hit it five or six times right there or two or three times. And then uh, to speed it back down, I'm going to hit Shift J. Okay, so hey, this is Sasha. Today I want to share, share with you this green screen effect and how to do it in OBS Studio. Hey, this is Sasha. Today I want to share with you how to create a green screen effect. In so you can see there towards the end, what I did was actually do a slow-mo of the footage rather than speeding things up. And that's using Shift L L L. So I'll just hold Shift down, push L a few times, or I'll hold Shift down and push the J key to slow it back down depending on how fast. And as I go through this footage, you'll be able to see how much quicker I'm able to edit things. So it just allows me to really, uh, you know, take a step back. So as I play it, Hey, this is Sasha, and today I want to share with you this green screen effect and how to do it in OBS Studio. Hey, this is Sasha, and today I want to share with you how to create a green screen effect in OBS. Selfie. So whether you want to show yourself on a different kind of background. So there I pushed, you know, uh, Shift L a few times. So again, it allows me to speed up that process so you could do some cutting. Uh, and this is especially helpful if you want to really just double check your first footage. First to be able to create this effect is number one, a green screen. Now this could be a green screen, it could be a blue screen, it could be. So you can see basically what I'm doing there is I'm just going through the editing process and compressing it by speeding up the footage. And obviously if you have an eight hour, 10 hour course, 20 hour course, 
and you're watching things two times speed, you know, that compresses it to a, watching it 10 hours, but then of course you have to do the editing work behind it. So hopefully that makes sense as to what I'm doing is speeding up the process and compressing that time that I'm spending watching that footage and it just allows me to do the trims and the cuts in the appropriate place. So that's ultimately how I really speed up the process. Now for me, I'm using multiple monitors. So in fact, all these things that you're seeing on screen right now is on one screen, but typically I will put the uh, program sequence or the review Pro, um, a profile right there where I can watch the video on another screen. I'll put the timeline across multiple screens. I'll put the effects on another part. That also, again, speeds up the little workflow. But in general, uh, ultimately, using that speed up and slow down motion really helps accelerate, edit the footage a lot faster because you're able to double check your footage two times, three times faster uh, than you normally would. Uh, if you're just playing it at regular speed. Um, and of course, it, as you know what you're filming, you know exactly where the trims, where the cuts, and where you need to edit that footage. So I hope this was helpful. And if it was, and if you want to see more training videos like this one, uh, go ahead and continue watching some of them by clicking the thumbnail right above. But if you want to sign up to my newsletter list and see some of the other business training courses that I have, along with some other training material for business development online, then sign up to my newsletter list by clicking the button right over here. In the end, remember, do what you love, contribute to other people, but most importantly, live life abundantly. I'll see you next time.